This 165-foot mega yacht cruising up the Miami River is carrying 10 VIPs to a very exclusive Sunday brunch. Ray and I have definitely found ourselves on some shoots this season that an innocent bystander, an onlooker, might think that we're not really working. One of these crazy party shoots that we've been on was at Sea Spice. And Sea Spice is this restaurant in Miami that throws an insane brunch. They're all guests of the owner of the yacht, Carolyn Aronson. I hope you're all thirsty and hungry. Carolyn went from being a hairstylist in Michigan to CEO of her own hair care empire called It's a 10. They have a 200 foot dock and her boat is 165 feet. So when we pull up that day... It's a we'll... total eclipse of the restaurant. Carolyn's brunch begins with an elaborate parade of Dom Perignon and sparklers. Just one of these bottles costs around $500. Honestly, this shoot, as, as fun as it was, and we're there witnessing this, this crazy party, but coordinating the shoot was an absolute freaking nightmare because there was so many variables involved. We had to get shots of the whole entire production. So I was with a videographer back by the kitchen watching the food get prepared and having everything come out. And Ray was on the boat with another videographer trying to capture it actually coming on board and being served. The main course is salt encrusted red snapper flambe tableside. Flaming fish adds another $650 to the bill. They were like concerned about like the uh, fire alarm going off in the boat and sprinkler systems. Yep. Particularly when they lit the fish on fire on the boat <laughs> and the flames like coming up yeah. to here. But the actual day of production, I mean, we had pizza. That was our That's meal. Right. Yep. It was, <laughs> it was good pizza. It was good pizza and really no champagne, which is rare for us. The total tab for the over-the-top day, more than 10 grand. The other crazy logistical thing that, you, that like normal people don't know about yachts is that sometimes the yacht can't turn around and you need to have a plan B. And the plan B was? Tugboats. And they literally, two tugboats had to carry it backwards down the Miami River. Being super rich is super complicated. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.